Hey y'all, hey, Eric with Time to Shrink. I am on day 16 of an elimination challenge. I am working very hard to reduce inflammation in my body. I also have a continuous blood sugar monitor on right here that is really helping me see what is affecting my blood sugars, thus affecting inflammation in my body. I have an entire playlist linked up above and I go into exactly what I'm doing and why and all of that in the first video. And then I'm just, what I'm doing is vlog style chronicling my day, what I'm eating, what I'm drinking, what my blood sugars are doing, what my inflammation is looking like, all of that stuff, but in a very much vlog style video. If you are new to me, welcome, welcome, welcome. I've lost over 100 pounds on the ketogenic diet, and what I typically do is meal preps, and what's for dinner, and grocery hauls, and what I eat in the days, very much vlog style like this, and all kinds of fun stuff. But while we're in the middle of this elimination challenge, we're just sticking to daily vlogs at this point. I would love for you to hang out with me today. Maybe give me a thumbs up and let me know you like vlog style videos. And also subscribe if you're new because we really do have a lot of fun around here. All right, let's just jump into this day, y'all. It is about nine o'clock and I am going in with a decaf coffee with two tablespoons of caramel nut pods and one tablespoon of almond milk creamer nog. This stuff is so legit, tastes like eggnog. It is so good. It is two carbs per tablespoon though, so I use more of this and a little less of this. So I'm waiting for my mom to get here and we're gonna run over to Trader Joe's. I'm drinking my decaf coffee and I've just decided, I sat down here in the bathroom to put some makeup on just a little bit, but my eyes are so itchy. It's There's like a major allergy thing going around here. My husband's been super, super struggling with his allergies this week and yesterday and today my eyes have been so itchy. So I think I'm not gonna put anything on, just put sunscreen on and I feel like if y'all have been following me this whole time, you know that part of what I'm dealing with right now is my first ever rosacea issue. I got a really, really bad rosacea with major redness and tons and tons of little bumps. It was like a rash. It was hot and itchy and awful. So it is gone down now. It's very, very smooth for the most part now. The bumps are gone, but I'm still dealing with lingering redness. Got a few bumps here to get rid of still. But overall, the bumps are gone, so I can put on a little bit of makeup now and cover it up and look fine, which makes me feel a lot better. But today, we're just going to skip the makeup. But I feel like this elimination diet has really been helping. Also, I'm my doctor put me on an antibiotic, so I'm taking an antibiotic for my face. But what it does is it works on the, as an anti-inflammatory agent, which is kind of strange because it also is inflammatory to like your gut and stuff. So I'm, I was really hesitant to get on the antibiotic, but my face was so bad y'all. And I mean, I know it doesn't look great now, but if you've been watching, it looks great now because it got so, so bad. Oh my gosh. But I did want to tell y'all also that this morning, my blood sugars, I looked at my blood sugars over the night, the last, not last night, but the two nights before, it was going up to like 160 in the middle of the night and staying really high. And then almost all day yesterday, it stayed high until evening. And so yesterday I decided that I was not gonna have anything at all to eat after 9 p.m., which is really a good rule in general. But the last couple of nights I had been eating later at night and overnight my blood sugar did rise again but not nearly like that i mean it i think the peak was like in the one teens instead of 160 which made me feel a lot better i do think that my antibiotic could be affecting it i do think that my seroquel which is something i have to take for my depression is majorly affecting it I've known since, I mean, I've taken Seroquel for over 10 years. When I started a high dose of Seroquel is when I really started put on weight. And one of the major side effects of Seroquel is weight gain. So I battle against that so hard trying to lose weight because I kind of have some deck stacked against me. I have fibromyalgia and chronic pain, so I can't like kill it at the gym or anything like that. And then I also, I mean, I have a whole list of things. Again, you can go watch that first video if you want to see exactly what's going on with me. But also, this Seroquel. So it's so frustrating. Like, I feel like the way that I'm eating, I should just drop like crazy. And then I get frustrated that it's going slowly. But then I look at what I've lost in the last two weeks, and that's really not slow, Erica. I've lost from 182 to 172 in the last two weeks. And then yesterday it was 173, today I'm 174. 
Why am I going up? I have no idea. I did not eat anything yesterday that should have made me gain weight. I think my body is just complicated. There's so much stuff going on and my body's trying to heal with this elimination diet. And sometimes when your body is working hard on things, weight loss is not something that just happens. So I need to not be worried about what the scale says every time I step on the scale, you know? All right, I am gonna go. I don't wanna make this too long because we are going to Trader Joe's today and I'm gonna show you all the Christmas goodies. All right, let's see what Christmas goodies Trader Joe's has. None of it's for me, but no, one thing. I got one thing for me. My trunk is full of donation stuff, y'all. I gotta go donate a bunch of stuff, but we're jammed in here. Trader Joe's was a success. Found a lot of good Christmas goodies. All right, here is our Trader Joe's haul, y'all. It's mostly goodies for the kids. For me, I got some strawberries and some pork belly. I'm gonna cook this up here in a minute. I got a bunch of like hors d'oeuvres. I think we're gonna have like a couple hors d'oeuvre nights for dinners, just kind of fun. I got these chocolate lava gnocchi. We got puff pastry. This is a buffalo style chicken poppers. Pimento cheese puffs, which I think Kara will like. I heard really good things about these crispy vegetable pouches. Apparently they are so good, so I got two of those. Got an apple pie for our friend's giving. Some more eggnog. I saw this winter wassail punch, and Jackson loves wassail, so I thought we'd try it. These Thanksgiving season kettle chips, the kids have already tried and really liked. Got some tortillas, and this and this are probably stocking stuffers. Their cream of mushroom soup is only eight carbs for a whole entire cup and nobody eats a whole cup of it when you use it in like a casserole or something so i got a couple of those i was excited to see that i got some italian mushroom and black truffle sauce this is a new thing there and then also the raspberry vinegar is newish i believe i needed to restock my sesame oil and then i've heard really good things about this chili crunch onion crunch i thought jason would enjoy trying that and then all of this stuff is christmas goodies so these are some meringues caroline likes meringues so i got some mint peppermint meringues some candy cane jojos the maple leaf cookies were still there and my little man loves those so i I got two boxes of those for him. I got chocolate chip sandwich cookies. Jason loves sandwich cookies, so I think he'll really like that. This salty honey milk chocolate covered crackers is the one thing I got that they're gonna have to eat quickly because I cannot eat this, but I want it. The, the, I usually, they had a lot of English toffee things and I stayed away from all of the toffee because it's my weakness, I love it, but I got this one because it was just so interesting and I think they'll enjoy that. We got some dark chocolate mint stars, some cranberry orange relish. I heard this was really, really good. And then we have the chocolate enrobed sandwich JoJo's, which I know Jason will really like. So I think the kids will really like this. So the majority of this haul was completely for my family. And I'm going to kind of put this stuff up so they don't go through all of it immediately, probably. I don't know. Who am I kidding? 
All right, y'all, I got everything put up and now I'm going to cook up this pork belly. It comes in a slab like this from Trader Joe's. It is so good. It's one of my favorite things to get there. I'm gonna slice it up and brown it on the stove. Now, pork belly is super fatty, so it just basically looks like slabs of bacon, right? But it hasn't been cured or smoked or any of that kind of stuff. And it is just so good. You could totally season this however you want. Just heat it, put it in a cold pan, and then bringing it up so it renders down all the fat and gets nice and crispy. This is going to be so good. Because this is so full of fat, it packs a punch calorie-wise. Two, Three ounces is 240 calories. Zero carbs because it's just pork, right? And then total fat, 21. So this is a really great food to eat when you're doing low carb or keto. And for me, some people pick, don't do pork on elimination, but pork doesn't seem to bother me at all. So I am allowing pork. One of the new things that I'm trying y'all is this Baytane, Baytine, I don't know how you say it, Baytane HCL pepsin. It's like a digestive enzyme and it has some Genesian bitters in it too. Um, since my, I have had vertical sleeve gastrectomy surgery, November will be two years, so two years ago, and I have major issues with heartburn ever since, and truthfully, on this elimination diet, I have not been dealing with that, and I'm trying to wean myself off of the meds that I take for that, and someone has suggested this to me, and I think it would probably be a great idea to try this, so I'm going to have this, you take one capsule with food, and I'm going to wean myself off of my prescription med and hope that this will take care of the problem because I, there's a lot of side effects of long-term PPI type stuff, so I'm trying to get off of that, but you, if you stop anti... If you stop anti-reflux meds, cold turkey, you can get really bad rebound heartburn. So I have to like titrate it down slowly, but that's one of the things I'm working on. So that whole big block ends up being just this amount. And this is supposed to be four servings. This is obviously not four servings. So, but I think a lot of the fat rendered off, like I know it did, like there's a ton of fat rendered here. I'm going to let this cool a little bit and then I'm going to strain it into my bacon fat jar and just add this pork fat to my bacon fat jar but that is a lot of really good really good oil to save and I can cook with that I did not end up salting it at all because I didn't want to salt the oil so I'm just going to eat it just like this I can sprinkle some salt on it now if I want but this is going to be such a good first meal I'm catching up on Grey's Anatomy y'all and loads and loads of laundry that I need to fold so I'm going to do that now on to the next pile. I am taking a forced rest. I just did all of that laundry and I've been running around all day and I need to rest. I get in this mode where I just wanna get things done and then if I stop to watch a show or something, I feel like I am wasting time. But with my fibromyalgia and my chronic pain, built-in rest periods are part of my job. They just are. They're important. And I wanted to say that out loud because I know I have a lot of people that follow me that also have those kind of issues. And it's hard to it's hard to not be down on yourself when you are just sitting. You feel like you're wasting time. You're not doing things. You're not getting anything done. But you are. It's part of your routine. Because if you don't build that in, if I don't build that in, then I'm going to crash. And then I'll be stuck in the bed for days. And that's not helping me or anyone. So I just did want to share that I am doing that. I am watching a show. I'm watching Grey's. I'm gonna sit here probably for an hour before I get up and do anything else and that is needed today so we have a big week come in I have we're doing Friendsgiving on Wednesday my kids have some friends from school that are coming over and it's gonna be a very small group but people that they see all the time anyways also I am working on getting some of these pills down I sometimes forget to tell you all about the vitamins that I'm taking and I'm not gonna go over all of them I've gone over them in the past and I've got some new stuff that I'm seeing how it works with me for my skin and everything so I'm not gonna go through exactly what's in here but this is my pile of vitamins that I need to take still today y'all I just got hit with this awful wave of nausea and feeling so sick I have no idea where that came from so I'm gonna lay down hopefully it's gonna go away oh my gosh I do not feel good y'all I don't know what was going on but I feel better now and I really really want something sweet I got all those treats for the kids and so I'm gonna have a little bit of peanut butter I'm gonna have one serving of peanut butter and yet another load of laundry, y'all. 
it's never ending. Y'all, I'm not feeling awesome, but I'm wanting to be productive, and so I'm gonna wrap presents. So I am watching A Bad Mom Christmas, and I'm gonna wrap some presents. So that is what I'll be doing the next little bit, y'all. I have never seen this movie. I always meant to watch it. We shall see. So here are presents so far, y'all. What I usually do is each child gets their own color. So this is just a few of the kids' presents. We're definitely not there yet on kiddo presents, but this is my kids' stuff. And then Caroline already carried stuff out here for me. We're putting gifts that belong to like family members, like that we're taking other people's houses with this tree. So I am so loving this tree, y'all. I added some red bulbs today. I love my snowman tree. Oh my gosh. This just makes me so happy, y'all. All right, now that I wrapped all those presents, I spent like two hours wrapping presents and my back is killing me. I love wrapping presents, but oh my gosh, every time I wrap presents, I guess it's just the way I lean or whatever. Oh, so I'm sitting in the bed with an ice pack, freezing my little batootie off and having some coffee, same coffee that I have every same coffee that I had this morning did I have yeah I did it's got the almond nog and the almond eggnog which is so good oh my gosh I love this stuff and a little bit of the caramel nut pods hey y'all it is a little after five and I'm having some more of that pork belly I'm not sure I'll eat a few pieces of it I'm just too lazy to make anything else right now so I was still hungry so I'm gonna have a big bowl of collards I know I've been eating the same stuff basically y'all but it's just simple. And then I got all those little appetizers for the kids. So I'm going to just cook up a bunch of different appetizers for them from Frozen, from Trader Joe's. And that's going to be dinner tonight. Plus we have leftovers if anybody wants something else. So super, super easy and simple today. I just washed my face and got ready for bed. I'm going to head to bed, y'all. It's just a little after nine, but I'm really tired. So I'm going to go to sleep. I will see y'all again really soon. Bye, y'all. Be blessed.